discussing the criminal precipice of the international jury. At first we have the unethical nature of an arrest of a Jew. They are prohibited from stealing. Due to their various allergies, merged in for a new technology, such as shrimp in medicine, or the new one to be added, nuts in the internet. My own family presiding, but I assure you, I can eat nuts. My NSA rejection from status aside, we have the necessity of a marker to identify you as potentially being inducted or moved in a Jewish tradition known as currency chattel, indicating that you are of a criminal status potentially killed However, you have been spared to be taught a new trade at the hands of the Jewish taskmaster. Now my guildswoman, Susan B. Anthony, founder of the Texas Hount Bounty Guild, and later through President Ulysses S. Grant, administered through my clansmen, Senator Breckenridge, would found Umbrella, as you see in the games, the video games, not far from the truth if you smoke marijuana, uh, would induct the Texas Bounty Guild as an official federal practice. The trap of people for labor, sex, or marriage. Illicit, illegal, and denying you your rights. You would be a fugitive. But moving forward, Jews never break the law. A form of pederasty among Jews is their form of sales. If you set something upon legislature under fundaments of their trades having formed the concept of the law itself, I shocks gift to us, they won't break it and they will enforce this law. Parts aside, we have the common pederast, a goyim or gentile. Goyim being one studied by Jews and gentile being a standard member of the non-Jewish community. They lack the membership of genes. Now to analyze this, we'll have to ask ourselves what is a pederast? They don't eat shellfish, clams, scallops, squid, octopus, sometimes even whitefish if you're paranoid, or the other shellfish composites of the non-kosher diet. Kosher constantly being added with allergy, now adding nuts, they're forever children. They're in a technical community, thanks to Bill Gates, a nut allergy Jew. But that indicates refusal upon non-adaptation there, potentially predatory. Hence, there are rules in the Jewish community to make them a goyim, a potential inductee, for refusing a shrimp cocktail or a lobster. These are called curses if you remove it. Capable of being removed with the simple act of a sauce, the Italian gift, never to be called gravy, offensive to the Irish, the other pole of affairs, the mercenary, such as me. Irish will breed in and out. Breeding in to the Irish means your mother has had an argument with your father upon being poor. The earlier remembered by the child, the more brilliant, the later remembered, the more stalwart. Versus the Italian pull of affairs, the family combat tradition. 
I just showed you an X checkers blob. That's turning somebody, a common citizen, onto their parallel, their head here, the back, their nose here, then moving them forward to kick their legs out in front. That's a Knights Templar, a thieving guild. We still live, we're called the Mafia. We're from Mongolia. We bred into Italian lines millennia ago before Christ, the psychiatrist. So here's the question. What kind of Jew steals? Simple. One that's gone into espionage by family line and their elder removed from life violently. A criminal Jew created a stealing Jew. The double life of bad man, such as George Bush, John Hinckley, F. Lee Baum, Shaggy Too Dope, all of them foreign spies. Even uh, Hinckley, an Alaskan spy for states' rights married, two generations back, him removed. The fixation on shellfish and the removal of sight. In public, a standard misguided, making excuses, but in private, a gangster, Batman.